Virgo, what's going on with you? This is going to be your weekly reading from the 21st through the 27th of August. So what's going on with you? <clears throat> right. Virgo, it seems as if things are going fairly well. So it seems. All right. However, beneath what seems to be, there's some sort of tumultuousness, emotional tumultuousness. In the subconscious, we have a sense of defeat. <clears throat> so, guys, this is basically what I'm saying. In your love life, Things may be a bit rocky, okay? However, in life in general, just in the overall general, things may be, you know, you may be receiving attention, things may be going good for you in, in other departments other than your life. I mean, <laughs> other than your life, things are going good for you. <laughs> what I mean, Virgo, is that other than your romantic life, things are going good for you. That's what I meant. Yeah, most certainly. Look how you're appearing. You seem to be grieving the situation, guys. Clearly, you had some sort of dispute, some sort of fallout with someone that left you feeling a bit devastated. And that feeling of tumultuousness is still there. Nevertheless, someone here is coming towards you. This most certainly seems like an apology or some sort of emotional expression, some sort of lighthearted expression. All right. <clears throat> We're going to see what's up with that in a moment. All right, what you're desiring is actually that person. That's what I'm saying here. You're wanting some sort of engagement with that person. What I mean by engagement is interaction, right? You're wanting to mend things, Virgo. You're wanting to mend things, and let me tell you, you are, you will, you will mend things. It's just gonna require you to bite the bullets. Bite the bullets, do what's necessary. You know, so a lot of times when dealing with romantic issues, it's difficult, it's uncomfortable to address these things. It sucks. You gotta really raise or rise above the feelings. You know what I mean? It's like two people are, are in the, their feelings and it's just tumultuous. Holy, you know, it's best to just distance yourself from it, collect yourself and intelligently approach it. That's one thing I'd expect. From a Virgo. Now, <clears throat> let's clarify this. What is this? Thing? This is interesting. You're in the challenge position. You got some serious feelings that are hindering you from attaining happiness. So, let's see. <clears throat> oh yeah, you're fucking holding on to this shit. I mean, uh, this is what I want to show you. You're holding on to this. You're not opening. You're not opening up, guys. You're not opening up. Something happened here that could have left you feeling insecure in whatever sort of connection you're dealing with. All right, and now it's like, fuck, what do I do? What do I do? All right, those feelings are still very prominent. They're still very prominent. And that essentially is the underlying energy to overcome this week. Are those feelings, those turbulent feelings that you're holding on to? Like I said, they could be you know, they could be invoking insecurity, eliciting insecurity in this relationship. All right, possibly fear, fear of loss, fear of abandonment. Shit. That's that's, and, and I don't mean it necessarily. You being abandoned, you cannot. You can be doing the abandonment. All right, it's just the energy that I'm saying. Apply it to where to how it fits. That's just what I'm seeing here. You're holding on to some shit. Holding on to something that you need to let go. All right. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let's clarify this five of cups, guys. This card of grievance. You're disappointed with what happened.
All right, so clarifying this, we have this card of basically expectation or stagnation. This is a card of waiting for something to take place. You have a vision of what you want to see come toward you. All right, and what that is is obviously the situation. Excuse the Rottweilers. Virgo, I had to go see what's up with the dogs because then they just bark and they're big ass dogs and, and they're loud as hell. So anyways, yes, you're grieving a situation, all right? And you're looking at the situation from a point of view of potential loss, grievance, rather than seeing the potential, you see, this individual is focused on the spilled cups when there's two cups right there. So it's like you have your back turned on the potential opportunity. All right, you have this in mind, you know, but deep down you're just, you're focused on the friction. That's what I'm seeing, Virgo. That's what I'm seeing. There needs to be a shift in your perspective, guys. There needs to be a shift in your perspective, all right? This high priestess, you you want to invest yourself romantically in a situation, in a relationship that is substantial, that is grounded, that is structured. Okay, something serious. This could be marriage, this could be a conventional relationship. And that does not sound too appealing, right? Who wants to be so conventional? Some people, hey, some people like conventionalism, right? Some people like to feel secure. Some people don't like danger or risk. Some people like to stay at home, right? And Virgos are typically those cautious type of individuals. So I go back to that conventionalism in regards to relationship. And that's a beautiful thing. What is a conventional relationship? Well, the whole, you know, relationship. It's not a crazy dynamic here. But let's clarify this high priest. This hierophant. Let's see what this is. So you have on your mind. Wow. All right, guys, look, you're, you're really weary about walking away from the situation, okay? You don't want to. You don't want to. But at this time, it's as if thoughts are entering. And look, I, I can, this is what I see, guys. It's kind of like you're leaning towards putting yourself first, all right? You're, you're disappointed with what has taken place in a relationship, so disappointed that you do not see the potential that it has. Although there is potential there. I see it. However, you're contemplating moving on from this for the sake of your own happiness. However, that thought alone brings devastation. There's this contradictory energy here. All right. I know it's to my best interest to move away. I can't abandon this. I don't want to. That's what I see. <clears throat> now, I see some mending going on here towards the end of the week. What is this? Okay, guys. Again, very contradictory energy here, all right? There's still a lot of friction. Someone here is not happy. Someone here, I mean, both of you guys can cannot be happy. I'm, I'm going to go to the extended here in a moment, and I'm going to bore into this individual, see what, what are their true feelings, what are their intentions towards you, and what, what are they projecting towards the relationship. However, this is your reading, okay? And I am just seeing this turbulent energy there's a sense of wanting balance, trying to seek balance. However, lacking clarity in regards to how to attain that balance is what I'm seeing. So Virgo, in summation, what I'm seeing for you this week, guys, life is good beyond your romantic endeavor. In regards to your romance, which is very significant, whatever it is that you're experiencing is very potent meaning that it will affect the other parts of your life if you do not deal with this. Now, what I'm seeing here is simply you finding your way to overcome this situation. All right, I'm not going to leave you there. 
I'm not going to leave you there because from what I see here in the future, it does seem as if there's a turnaround. There's something new here that's, that's going to come from this attempt to find harmony within yourself. Finding harmony within yourself is finding harmony with, within whatever it is that you're involved with. But what is this here? Yeah, beautiful. Look, clarifying this ace of coins. I'm not going to get too into it. Obviously, that's the future position, and that is malleable. Mal malleable. And with that said, we'll leave that for the readings to come, you know. However, what I'm seeing here is that, yes, there's going to be communication. Furthermore, there's going to be action, movement. Towards what? Union, guys. The lovers. That's what I'm seeing here in the future position. So, I hope that brings you some, some peace of mind. You know, things seem to be moving towards a positive place. Although, this week, it's all about cleaning that shit up. Alright? If this was your reading, guys, I will see you in the extended. And we will bore into this individual. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.